One of the great things about the iPads is that it gives us the possibility to move closer and closer to a paperless school. Uh, and so what I'd like to show you right now is a very cool app called Notability. So I'm going to open this up. And it's I put it under the Productivity folder. And I'm just going to go back here and start a new document so you can see how it works. Um, but I can take any PDF that I open on my computer and open it here in Notability. But I'm going to just create a brand new blank note so you can see how it works. Um, so I've got a few tools here. A text input tool, a pencil tool, a highlighter, eraser, and I can even put my voice in. Um, but here's how it works. I can write hi on the screen. Uh, if I want to work in finer detail though, I can use this magnifying glass tool which is at the bottom. And then I just move this box wherever I want to write. And um, what happens is as I get into this green section here, it knows I need more room. And it gives me more room. If I hit the end, it, uh, it's like hitting enter. Um, so you could take handwritten notes this way, which is pretty neat. Um, the only thing you be, need to be aware of is uh, it always writes with your finger, no matter if you're on the highlighter or the eraser, it's always um, input like that. So if I wanted to scroll up and down, I have to use two fingers to do that. So that'll let me scroll. Okay, so why am I showing you this when we're talking about a paperless school? Well, obviously you can take notes this way. But let's say a student hands me in an essay. So I'm in Schoology. My student has handed in uh, a piece of work. So I go under my class. I go wherever that assignment happens to be. I go into my Dropbox, and I see that my um, student has handed in something. So I click here on it and open it up. It takes a minute to download. The, the particular piece of work that was handed in here is a full filled with images, so it'll take a minute. Okay, now that it's downloaded, I can see it here. Uh, I can scroll up and down, just like that. But let's say I want to, let's say this was an essay or I needed to, to mark this up to mark it. Um, what I can do is if I just click on the screen here, I can push this icon. This icon usually means send it to somewhere else or print it or whatever. So I'm going to push that. And I don't want to print it in this case. What I want to do, because I want to save paper, is I'm going to open it in an app called Notability, which I've installed on here. Notability is great because it lets me write on it. It's the one we were just using. Now I can create a new note with the PDF or add it to the one we were already working on. I'm going to create a new note. Uh, and now this document is three pages, so it's asking me, do I want to import all three pages or just the first one? If I want just the first one, I can start and end with page one or start and end with page one and two. I want the whole thing, so I'm going to do one, two, three. And it's going to create a new note here in just a second from the work that the students have handed in. Now I can go through here, get my click on my pen tool. If I wanted to use a red pen, I could circle something. I could highlight something. Uh, but I'm just going to write, hi, cat. I'm testing. Oh, and obviously I've run out of room. So what I'm going to do is write that whole note with the magnifying glass so I can be get better resolution. So I'll put it there. Again, I'll choose my pencil tool. And actually, I'll choose a finer pen. Hi, cat. I'm testing. So I've written something there. Maybe I'll put a little highlight around it so we can see. All right. So now I want to send this back to my student. Again, here's that same icon that means send it to somewhere else. And it gives me the typical options like email, blah, blah, blah. But I want to open it in another app again. And I'm going to open it in. Schoology. And now Schoology is going to ask, hey, what do you want to do with this? Well, I want to drop it back to a student. And it was uh, this course, that assignment, and the student was Katarina. And it's going back to Cat as a PDF. And I'll just say create. And it'll send it back to her as a PDF 
attachment to her assignment, so she'll be able to see all the corrections I've made there. So I think this is um, a really powerful tool. It has the potential for reducing, greatly reducing the amount of paper we use. Um, if a student makes something in real life in paper, they can always take pictures or a video of it with their iPad and upload it, and then we can, again, pull uh, any, any documents into Notability to edit them.